Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a fridge and freezer deep clean for you. I am just showing you what my freezer looks like inside. Bit of background, we decided it was too icy and it needed um, de-icing so we ate our way through the freezer, made sure everything was finished um, and left it off while we were away. Uh, we went to London and Birmingham for a few days so we just made sure it was empty, switched it off and when we came home, as you can see, that water was disgusting. Um, we rinsed it out, sprayed it all down, wiped it out, rinsed it out again. And I've got a little plug hole, as you can see there, in my freezer. So as we just been to Costco, we stuck the freezer on top of the water bottles for a bit of height and just let the freezer drain. We used a window squeegee to get all the excess water into the corner and raise the one side so it would just fall out but you can still see all the dirt coming out of the freezer and that is what my freezer looks like now that it has been washed out and drained i know there's marks on it in my freezer but my freezer is now oh gosh about nine years old as you can see there on the bottom right hand corner i've got some duct tape on the switch um a little while ago my little then 18 month old uh, decided to turn the knob on my front of my freezer and turn my freezer off so full load of freezer food gone to waste we didn't notice for about two or three days after because we don't open the freezer every day um it's a good size freezer I all right we're back from holiday now um and this is <laughs> what I'm dealing with. Um, last night we unpacked, well, we, last night we finished washing out the freezer and now I've got to, the freezer was empty, we ate through it. I've got to clean the fridge because I've got horrible marks there. Uh, sorry, the fridge. Um, I haven't done the fridge for about a month. I usually do it weekly. So it's obviously while we've been away, we've only left the fridge running. There's nothing really in it. So I can go through the dishwasher. That is one of my hacks. I put everything into the dishwasher. I am lucky I've got a small fridge. This fridge suits my family absolutely fine. So everything in there needs to go into the dishwasher. Well, when I say everything in there, I meant the shelves. Obviously I'm not gonna be washing the produce. Um, then I've got to tidy up. I've still got my Costco receipts, which as you've seen in the last video, my Costco haul. And I've just got everything. We packed away last night, we unpacked suitcases, but everything else just needs to be tidied up and put away, sorted out. Cookies haven't got a long shelf life now that the freezer's been on overnight. We can stick them straight in the freezer. And I tell you what, having cookies straight out the freezer is absolutely delicious. One, they've got um, a longer shelf life. And two, eating frozen cookies, then they're just like crunchy hard, but they're not unedible hard like frozen food. Obviously, we've got our energy drinks. That's another it's a shop for somebody else. So that needs to go my hallway. My waters. Excuse the mess, I've just been away. My waters are there ready. I've got loads of laundry to do. I've got the basket of laundry that we had from yesterday. Towels are in the wash because Thursdays and Sundays are my towel day. Today's Sunday, so my towels are in the wash. I've got all of this stuff to put away. These are, again, for somebody else. Tissues need to be put away. We do like the Kirkland tissues, don't get me wrong. A tissue is a tissue but when you've got a cold or anything really um, these ones are much better and softer in the nose it's not like we're blowing your nose continuously with sandpaper so as I said my freezer has been emptied it's the light has gone off which means it's fully frozen again I'll have a look at what stated in in a minute um, that needs a clean my bins are just dumped in the middle of the floor I've got cables everywhere well, that's three minutes of me rambling. So let's get on to it. Let's have a look. I don't think we left the free the dishwasher. Oh, brilliant. I try not leave stuff in the dishwasher while we're away. So that is now empty. Let me explain. I hate dishes in the sink, but we're using 
the washing up bowl and that one to drain the freezer last night and then we used a window squeegee a glass squeegee to get all the water out the drain so everything is a mess my fr dishwasher is ready for the fridge to go in while my fridge is empty so let's get on with it I'm now going to just let this sit and let the alcohol work. As you can see, it is quite disgusting. As you've seen, I have emptied the fridge. I've put the glass into the dishwasher. Please, please, if you're going to wash it in the dishwasher, make sure that obviously the top arm is not going to smack into the glass. Um, so I have removed the top drawer in the dishwasher, put them in gently. I've only put them in an hour wash. I've sprayed down the fridge with alcohol. I've left it for about five minutes, wiped it down with a mesh pad because it's a bit more gritty, and then used the e-cloth kitchen cloth to wipe down my fridge i'm wiping all the attachments that go onto the shelves now and i am only five foot four so i can't really get into the fridge though i've got a bit of counter there that i obviously been sat on to clean it i'm now wiping down all the produce with my kitchen cloth this is a, just been rinsed out and it's clean every time um, put this produce back into the fridge with no shelves on it because as i say the dishwasher is on for an hour um, so the stuff needs to stay cold. So that's why I clean the fridge and put everything back in. Cl close the fridge, wipe down the front of the door and it's then going to stay in there nice and cold and with no risk of being spoiled whilst the dishwasher is on. That is why I try and clean the fridge when it is completely empty. Now I'm just going to wipe off the top of the freezer. My cats have had a bit of food on top of there um, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. You can see like a 
slight layer of ice or sheet sort of around the top that is obviously because it's been cold um, as you can see the marks or the indentations in the freezer but it's clean so i'm going to put the cookie straight back in there and start loading it up matters are currently um, gone to the shops to go and get some more produce because our freezer our fridge our cupboards as you can see are completely empty we've completely eaten our way through before we went away and that was the plan costco and matt does some shopping food shopping for us so we can restock fresh everything's out of date hello chili bye chili um and just start afresh after our staycation whilst i'm just waiting for the dishwasher to finish i'm tidying up Now my dishwasher is done please be careful if you're putting any attachments back onto your glass be very very careful that one you don't break the glass and two you don't break these little safety catchers there's a metal strip that i will put on in a minute um it's a decorative strip but i think it also serves a purpose to stop you like getting paper cut glass cuts if you like from the glass or damaging it bumping it and maybe cracking the glass now i've got these little plastic strips that go at the back they stop the glass hitting the back wall um, make sure you put everything back so that things fit because the last thing you want to do is restock the fridge and have to move the shelves and take it out again now we generally use the same settings on our shelves anyway our fridge suits our family fine um, we do hello fresh usually so the top shelf is allocated for the hello fresh produce that comes in and the middle shelf is sort of cheeses butters and the bottoms we either use for drinks and that because we don't really have fresh meat in the house we didn't we freeze everything and use it as required um, and then the milk goes obviously in the door and the condiments in the middle there and for some reason i've got four slabs of chocolate now when i i don't know if anyone else finds this leave a, a comment below when you've got sweets and chocolate in the house you don't eat them but when you don't keep them in the house you, when you then go out and buy you just eat loads of them so yeah we've always got chocolate in the house but it never really gets eaten even though i've got such a sweet tooth so there we go my fridge is all but packed and ready to go it's nice and clean and it's done now into the dishwasher these little catches on the top drawer just slide sideways so i can put the basket straight back in so easy so effective clip them back and my dishwasher dishwasher even is back to normal just tidy up because my sink is absolutely getting on top of me driving me nuts so i want to clear my sink get my dishwasher on for the next load
And here are my two boys again, Chili on the left, Grebo on the right. As you can see, Chili is a big boy. That's my leg. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some motivation to, uh, he's snoring in my ear. It's a motivation to get your fridge and freezer cleaned up. Um, please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. My last video that I was uploaded is my staycation where we went to Costco and Birmingham and London. So, oh. He's snoring. Oh, sorry, boy, did I disturb you? There's my chili. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you in the next one. Say bye. I think they're happy we're home because I get to lie on the bed. <laughs> oh, and I started pairing. Oh, I've disturbed both of them by the looks of that. Take care, bye guys. Bye.